Okay, I'm going to be doing the Dragon's Lair by Craig. Um, I've already shown his information. I think he's going now by uh, Native Craftsman. Um, just to give you an update, I'm still without power, so I'm going to be doing this fairly quick. Um, do the four strand setup for the Mad Max. Um, the only thing is that this time, um, in the previous tutorial, I show you basically an independent core. This time, you're going to actually have the length of the weep, which is going to be the crossing of the cords. All right, you're going to have this cord here, which is your core, and one of your weaves. These two are going to be your primary weaves. I'm going to show you how to set it up from the point on that the tutorial takes you to um, set up the Mad Max. Okay, so hang on a second I forgot to mention since I don't have power um, <clears throat> I have to keep the windows open and I'm using direct light now it's kinda cloudy today so I'm gonna try to enhance the picture a little bit by software oh and by the way uh, this tutorial was asked to me by Clint Story very good follower good friend um, we've stayed up nights talking so this is for you Clint all right, so we grab our two additional cords and we're going to put, we're going to loosen it up. And we're going to go under. So we're basically going to go, let me loosen it up a lot more. Okay, so we're going to go like this under and out we're going to find the center and I'll probably edit this out so you're going to hear noise don't mind it all right, so I got the center there, and now we basically tighten up our Mad Max. Now you already know chord spacing, so quick refresher. Between 1 and 2 is A, 2 and 3 is B, 3 and 4 is C. And like I told you, I apologize for going fast, but like I told you, I don't have any power. Okay, so it's ready. So, let's begin. Okay, I'm redoing this again. I've redone it again uh, because I had to figure out an easier way to help you guys organize these cords because they get kind of confusing. So um, what you're going to do is your outer weave is this one. This one's going to go on the side for the dragon's layer. This one is going to be your middle outer weave and this is going to be your center. <clears throat> so I put it like this. I put the outer which really goes for, starts first with the knot um, first your inner in the middle and your outer on top and then I'll show you as we go uh, how to move the cords easier so we're gonna start we grab our left cord we go under the core and out through B grab our right cord under the core out through B and underneath the left cord so it's going to be like that i'm going to grab our left inner cord we're going to go under the core and out through c and it should be underneath the blue one all right so we're going to grab our right inner cord, inner weave, and we're going to go under the core and out through A. So it should look something like this. All right, now you want to pull the inner weave. I'm going to start calling them by color. The charcoal, you're going to pull it in. 
and you're going to grab your right charcoal cord and you're going to go down the loop on the left and you're going to keep it like that towards the middle you're going to grab your left charcoal cord and you're going to go down the loop on the right and pull it now this is important see the x here the cord the outer weave one the black one has to go in between this part here so it has to go there and the x has to be in the middle all right so just to begin once you've done the gray cord which is basically already done you're going to throw it under the black one and to the back this helps you organize it a lot better all right now we grab the black outer weave you're going to go down where i told you down a and underneath itself so it's going to look like that now grab the right one to the right of the x down through c without touching the charcoal and under itself and this is the last one to tighten because you're going to come back and throw a cord itself down through the loop all right so now we start tightening no oh, not the black one blue and charcoal let's push it up You want it fairly tight. Push it up again. Charcoal. Blue. Okay, you can do it any or an Audi. And Audi is basically pulling the charcoal and the blue will come out a little bit more. Uh, and Itty is pulling the blue and it'll hide them a little bit more. So by choice okay now we pull the blue down get it out of the way and we're going to grab our left outer weave cord the black one and we're going to go down into itself so it's going to look like that you're going to grab the right outer weave down into itself and this is the trick we went down into itself here so you're going to pull that cord first you could do either side individually pull it fairly tight okay and then we pull this one i like holding it so it's a little bit tighter Tight. Let's pull this one. And then we pull down and then we'll tighten up. Then you throw black outer weave over and to the back and that's our first knot let's do one more and we organize this again so we've got the middle one left cord we go under out through B and to the right grab our right blue cord we go under and out through B okay now we grab our 
gray, which is going to go underneath. You could actually pull this down. And the left one is going to go out through C. And the right one is going to go under and out through A. Okay. We have our right one. We go over and down the blue loop. And you can put it underneath the black one already. Okay. We have our left one. Go over, down the loop on the right, and underneath the black one and throw it to the back. And remember to form our little X there. Okay, we grab the left outer weave. We go down through A and under itself. Grab the right one. Down through the X, down through the C, and under itself. Okay, then remember. All right, we throw it over the gray, you can pull the gray down. And then we start tightening. Remember, you're only pulling the charcoal and blue now. And you want the blue down like that. Okay, pull the blue down the gray out of the way also. And we're going to go over and down the loop on the left. Over and down the loop on the right. And then remember we're going to pull these cords that we went down with. Okay. That's it. And keep going to the end. And I'll show you the bracelet. I'll take a picture of it. And hopefully the power will come on one day. So, till the next time, take care.